water. We don't have to think twice about where to get our water or how it will affect the course of our lives. Yet villagers throughout Africa obsess over it. When you don't have a dependable source of safe water, you think about it all day because it means everything to your livelihood and to the survival of your family. For millions, water is life. Could you say the same? Every 90 seconds, a child dies from a water-related disease. It used to be 20 seconds. Some advances have been made, but the statistic is still heartbreaking and we cannot accept it. God is grieved every time one of his children suffer. He weeps over it. They're not just stats to him. Every person matters. At Global Aid Network, our desire is to provide safe water to remote villages that are in dire need of it. But it's more than just that. We want to provide life-giving water that initiates lasting transformation in communities. That is why we provide access to clean and safe water, teaching and promoting hygiene and sanitation practices, gender sensitivity, maternal health, disease prevention, and basic nutrition for mothers, pregnant women, newborns, and children. Health clinic workers, who often unknowingly use harmful traditional practices to treat women and children, are trained in proper delivery practice. Women and children are no longer burdened with finding water. Women can pursue their passions and projects that improve their community and the lives of their families. Children can focus their energy on their schooling and pursuit of future ambitions. Villagers are trained to actively manage and regulate well maintenance and operations, ensuring sustained water access. Communities are further developed. Schools and clinics are built, farms get higher yields, local businesses created, local economy grows, and local individuals are employed. Fear is cast out and lives restored as villagers discover the living water. Church leaders are equipped, simple church buildings are constructed, and new churches are planted. The presence and credibility of the local church is elevated within their villages. We don't want to do this alone. We partner with like-minded organizations that we can make a bigger impact than we can on our own. Villagers in Africa are no different than us here. They still share the same desires we do. That a tomorrow will be better than today. They too long for a life that is positively impacted in every area. The difference is that we have the luxury of acting on it. For them, it's only a dream. The King will reply, Truly I tell you, Whatever you did for one of the least of these brothers and sisters of mine, you did for me. At the end of the day, we exist to demonstrate the love of God in word and deed to hurting and needy people. We want them to also experience the kingdom of God, and that is why we do what we do. Providing water is to provide health and security, dignity and freedom, hope. Providing water is to provide life, Together, we provide much more than drinking water, and it all starts with one well. Mm -hmm.